All right, so this is our uh, second uh, uh, frictional problem. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. If the coefficient of kinetic friction between a crate and the floor is 0.20, how much force is needed to slide a 92 kilogram crate uniformly across the floor? All right, so we are talking about kinetic friction. All right, so that means that the object is going to move, all right? And if you ever forget that, kinetic means movement, all right? Uh, if the coefficient of the kinetic friction, so it's going to be mu k, that is the coefficient of kinetic friction, that is 0.20. The mass of the block is 92 kilograms. And they want us to figure out what is the kinetic friction of the block. So let me draw a picture so you can see it. All right. So essentially we have a block that is being pushed with some type of applied force. All right. And essentially what's happening is that the block is being pushed, all right, until that static friction that's in the surface here, it's holding on until it reaches its maximum point and then the block is gonna to begin to move, and then it's gonna turn into kinetic friction. So we're trying to figure out what is the kinetic friction of this block? What is the force that is between the crate and the floor, which is the kinetic friction? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're going to go ahead and draw the free body diagram. So we know that gravity points down The normal force is going to point up. And the type of friction is going to point opposite. And it's going to be kinetic friction. So the block, because the block is moving. All right. So we can simply uh, find this by using the equation mu k equal times the force normal. So static friction is the coefficient of friction times the normal force, all right? And we know we get the normal force by finding the gravitational force. And then once we get that, we can go ahead and solve for the kinetic friction. So let's first find the gravitational force, which is the weight. And that equation is mass times gravity. And you're on Earth, so the gravitational constant is going to be negative 9.8. meters per second squared. So it's going to be 92 kilograms times negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And the weight is going to be negative 901.6 newtons and because the a block is only moving in the x direction that means that the y forces are balanced so they're essentially equal and opposite of each other so if the gravitational force is negative 901.6 the normal force is going to be positive 901.6 and now we can go ahead and solve for our frictional force, which is kinetic. So the kinetic friction is going to be the mu k, which is 0.20 times 901.6 newtons. And that equates to 180 Point thirty two newtons. So that is the frictional force between the block.
All right, so the applied force, uh, it overcame this. So then now this is how much force is opposing the applied force as it moves. Thank you.